I love you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by Wild Pearl Tarot. Um, we are going to be drawing cards for the week of June 13th through June 20th, Sunday through Sunday. And this is all about what's coming towards you. Um, where you're at, the next card is going to be what to be prepared for, and then the next card, what to do with it. And then we'll be getting clarity on all three cards. All right, and if this resonates with you, Sagittarians, please hit this, the like button, the subscribe button. This allows me to get these readings out to you, not only you whenever I um, upload them, but also to more of you guys, more of everyone who could benefit from them. So I appreciate it. Thank you in advance. All right, so regards to where you're at, little Sagis, my hands are tingling. You got some energies going on. This is, feels good. Feels good. Where are you at, Sagis? All right, the Emperor. Yes. The Emperor taking control. Um, where it, it's coming towards you this week. Ooh. It's exciting. Nine of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Oh, you might be kind of, um, you might, some of you are going to be leaving the realm of your independence, right? You're going to be, of course, yeah, you, don't worry. You got your foot in your independence, your, your badassness. But you might be meeting somebody, a twin flame of sorts, uh, this or collaborating with a partner. But either way, Two of Cups is such a wonderful card. Let me show you this uh, without the glare, hopefully. Two of Cups is equal give and take. There's some reciprocity there. There's equal compromise. There's an understanding, a simpatico with another individual, whether it's a work partner or if it's actually somebody who's capturing your attention romantically. But let's get more clarity in a bit. What are we going to do about it this week? What are we doing about? What are we doing about this situation coming at you, Sagittarius? What are we doing about it? Please. Oh. You know what, we're not going to take that only because I feel that that was a faux pas. A little, my, my thumb got in the way. What are we doing about it, Saggies? All right, so communication's coming in. Let's, let's see about this. Okay. And then I would like to get some clarity from this deck on all three things, on all three questions. Starting with where you're at, Sagis. Tell us a little bit more about the Emperor this week of June 13th to the 20th, Wheel of Fortune. Big moves. And what's coming towards Sagittarians this week? Okay. Coming towards Sagittarians this week. Wow, so much positivity. So great. The sun card. The sun card is just that wonderful warmth. It it if even on like the more intense cards like the death card or the tower card, when the sun card comes out with it, it kind of lightens the load a little, you know? It sheds a warmth over the whole reading. And then what to do about it? Um what to do about this? Cut it in midair. Did you see that? Knight of Wands. You know, this is getting interesting and somewhat complicated. And Ten of Pentacles. Let me just take a look here. I'm gonna ask one more clarifying card. Wow, the Empress. So you got the Emperor, the Empress. You know, I feel like, um, <laughs> it kind of feels like this is uh, two energies here and there's some major simpatico between the two. This is taking a leading role in this relationship in the direction it's going. There could have been some disappointing news regarding uh, or something that needs to be conveyed that somewhat disappoints the, the other person um, or vice versa. But we've got the knight carrying a message here. Um, and this could even be like makeup sex. Um, <laughs> let's make this all good again. You feeling good? Let's oh, let me feel, make you feel good type of thing. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like, this feels like Sagittarius, a little bit of a struggle between your independence and then also, um, uh, and this, uh, this uh, twin flame energy, this collaboration. 
And for a small, this feels very much relationship, uh, but for a small group of you, this could be a partnership as well. This is kind of um, finally recognizing the inevitable that this person really is um, a rare find. And um, there, there, there's going to be some communications, possibly text messages, even for some of you guys travel to this person. Um, to kind of make things all better again. And that might definitely take the, the um, that might definitely look like a one night stand. Um, not necessarily one night stand, excuse me, because I feel like there's more of an emotional investment with this individual just as a ca for a casual fling. And if there's a casual fling in there, then I think that it's it could turn into something more intense more long-term with the 10 of pentacles here. You know, this is big picture. This is um, what you're investing your life and your uh, future into. And um, this person feels like your, your person, Sag. And there might've been resistance at one point there because you wanted to, you didn't want to compromise your badass independence, but you don't, you're seeing that you don't necessarily need to compromise for this person, you know? Um, that there's something almost karmic about this relationship. And you've done this possibly before. You know, there's this resistance like, you know, I don't wanna lose my independence. I don't wanna lose myself in this relationship. I don't wanna lose the trajectory. That I've, I've really gotten on this really cool path, this direction, and I don't want this person to throw me off my track. And um, you're recognizing that, you know, you, in this, you kind of, you might have hurt their feelings. <laughs> You know, and if this is flipped, if this is somebody who you feel felt that way towards you, it's gonna be okay this week. It's gonna be okay. You guys are gonna be working it out basically with the eight of wands coming in, soaring through the air quickly. There's gonna be messages quickly coming through, um, whether you instigate them or they do. And um, it looks like you guys really see each other um, with one another in the future. I'm excited. I, this is actually really cool. This is a cool reading. I feel like this person is, you know, the empress to the emperor. I feel like this is very faded. I feel like it's gonna be okay. It's exciting. So good luck to you, Sag. And um, thank you so much for stopping by. Again, hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button if this resonated. And if it didn't, please move on and find readings that do. They can be so empowering and there's so many talented YouTube readers. All right, take care.